Hi guys, Matt from the Big River here. We got a big order this week, actually several small orders this week. We got four fish orders, including saltwater, freshwater. Oh, we got all kind of fish. And then we have some reptiles coming in today too. So lots and lots to unbox, so let's check it out. Uh, first thing out of the box, we have some rainbow wag platies. Uh, got a few different bags of platies in here. This box is kind of cold, but looks like everybody shipped in okay. Uh, green tiger barbs on a restock also. The aisle three restock. Oh, here's somebody different. This is a red wolf fish. Nice size guy. We got that black guy over there we've had a long time. But the red wolf fish, they come and they go. They're a little less expensive. Really fantastically cool fish. Gets pretty big and pretty ornery to con specifics, but not bad on other bigger fish. Uh, here are some glass cats. Got to love those guys. Schooling fish. Likes to be in a group. They'll get up to about three, three and a half inches. So for your 20 or larger tanks. Uh, Threadfin Rainbows, first time we've had these in a little while. Threadfin Rainbows are the, let's see, it's the Erythrina Warneri. Those guys are fantastic little micro fish. Not so micro though. Got a few Oscars in this week. Uh, these are the Red Oscars, nice size on them. Uh, a little bit, no, they're about the same price we've been getting on Oscars. But they're past that baby, baby size where they don't tend to do that well. Uh, Cardinal Tetra restock. We've got to have those every week for the Tetra special. Buy four more, get 25% off, and you will get your Cardinals for uh, that special price. Here are some Rummy Nose. Look like they shipped in all right. Also for the Tetra special. Just ask for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll give you that Tetra special any old time you buy four or more Tetras. How many times can I say that? How many ways? Buy four or more Tetras, we'll give you 25% off. Why? Because we can. Well, also because if you buy your bigger schools of Tetras, they're happier. And, uh, you know, if I put a big bunch of them in a bag, it kind of helps spread out that bag cost, too. Uh, right next up, we have some goldfish. These are red orandas. And they look nice. So there are some goldfish for you. Got a couple goldfish on this order from a couple sources. Here are some loaches. These are royal butterfly loaches. Haven't had those in a minute, so saw them, grabbed them. Very cool. They've got the split disc on those guys. Very different than your other type of hill streams. This is a red and white ranchus. Look mostly red. Not a bad little group of small ranchus. Yep. Uh, next up, some zebra cars. Kind of a flat bag, but it looks like they shipped in okay anyway. Zebra cars are gorgeous micro cichlid. Um, one of my absolute favorite, they're late in a car, right? No, they're an Ivana cara. Uh, kind of aggressive for their size. More of those Pilates from the first box. Well, kind of. And here's something uh, a lot of people have been waiting for. These are Cominados. And they look nice and fat and big. The last couple batches came in kind of skinny and didn't do all that well. But now we have a nice batch of Cominados. Got to have that for your brown algae. Here's some more Tetras for the Tetra special. Those are neon Tetras, the large ones. We always get the large ones. Uh, but we still keep them pretty cheap for you. Coolie Loach, banded style. We've got a couple of types of Coolie Loaches in today. And about four different types, maybe five different types over there. Uh, more Tetras for the Tetra special. These are the Black Phantom Tetras. Sold out of most of those. Somebody came in and bought a big bag of them. So got to have more. I like those guys. Cool dimorphic. Uh, tetra. Here are some bettas. Let's see, there's a half moon double tail, a couple of bales. That huge load of bettas last week. We sold out a bunch of them already. Restock ones that I could. Some of them, like the giant bettas, already came and went. That type of thing goes very fast. Hopefully they'll restock those again soon because those were incredibly popular and why not? A betta the size of my palm is an awfully cool betta. <laughs> All right, one more box from this little order, then we'll jump into the next. Should have some discus in this box somewhere. Let's see if we do. Let's see, those are black coolies. Told you we'd have some more coolie loaches. Here is, yep, there it is. There's a discus. Uh, special order for some red melons. We already had one, but I got a couple more. These are three inch red melon discus. Got a pair of those guys today. Got a nice selection of discus right now. Again, we don't normally stock the two-inch guys. I can get them if you want them. Let me know. Uh, but they're a lot of work, and I find that if we get the three-inchers, they fare better for everybody involved. Dwarf chain loaches. Got a couple sizes of these came in today. These came in nice and fat and big. Uh, got some little ones should be coming as well. 
Here's assorted female guppies. We've been having a little bit of trouble getting a wide variety of guppies just in a short, like the last month or two. I'm sure that'll turn around, but uh, we do have some females out of this order and some others from a different order too. Actually, I think three sources of guppies this week. These are half moon female bettas. Couldn't get any more of those uh, koi ones. Those sold out quick, but we did get some half moons. Here's another male betta. That's a Placat Galaxy koi. Wow, that's a, that's a wow betta. So it's that one. <laughs> Gotta come and look. All right, next is an elephant nose. Cool dude. Remember these guys either do them by themselves or do them in a big group in a huge tank. They tend to nick each other up if you do a couple of them in too small an area. More cool, cool bettas. Um, let's see. This is Sparkling Grammys. Restock on those guys. I realized we were out at some late point in our week last week. Bumblebee Gobies. Restock on those. Got a couple big ones over there. These guys are tiny. Um, another monster. Here's the Silver Arowana. If you got that huge tank and want a big flying fish, get yourself an arowana. Those guys get monstrous. Don't get these that often. Electric Blue Jack Dempsey looks fantastic. These are notorious for failure to thrive, so make sure you're ready to take extra special care of that guy. Uh, and here's something that's been on the rise and hot. Uh, Orange LeMay Madaka. Rice fish in general have been hot, and this is a cool variety. We've got in, oh, I think we got five or six varieties over there. Got been picking up a new one or two every week because they're so cool and there's so many of them. Uh, Corydoras catamaculatus or a tail spot cory. You know, for some reason, odd as it might be, this is just one of my favorite quarries. I think they're super cool. The speckles on their back, the black spot on their back end make them just really attractive to me. You know, I love all my quarries, but that quarry in particular, I just think those are cool. And we actually I've uh, got a fairly decent price on them the last couple times we got them in. It used to be like 30 bucks a piece, and now we can get them down, I think they're in the $15 range, which to me, for a quarry that cool, that's a pretty approachable price. Let's see if I can pick up the big boxes here. It wasn't as heavy as I expected it to be. Let's see what's inside. Uh, let's see, plants. Got a couple of plants from this supplier. They had some cranium bulbs and some Madagascar lace, and we got some dwarf sag. It's not very short, but it's got a nice needle leaf to it. I like that. That's uh, some cool plants. And then we have yo-yo loaches, tiny yo-yo loaches. They look so cool. They know their name. It says it right on the side of their uh, body there. Ooh, monster in the making. This is a flower horn. I've been just bringing in one at a time. You bring in six of these, and Wait till there's just one, and then we sell that guy. It just doesn't make sense. So we're bringing in one. Not a lot of color in the bag. We'll see if it colors up in the tank. But that is a uh, red dragon flower horn. And here is some snails. I've got three different types of snails on this order. If I can get my fingers to work here, we'll show you what we got. I could just tear it, I guess. Oh, that's what it is. First pond season critter. This is the... Uh, Japanese trapdoor snails. You can keep those in a tank, but uh, we usually stock them during pond season. Still early. I've had people already starting to ask me about pond season, but we won't be breaking out to pond fish until ooh, at the very earliest April. We usually wait, hold out until May or even late May because if we get a late cold snap, it just kills everything off. But uh, a lot of people getting excited about pond season this year, and why not? Ponds are fun. Uh, these are nearites, obviously uh, the red spotted nearites. Another restock on those guys. Been selling nearites like they're going out of style, so might as well restock them. Getting kind of low on mystery snails over there too. I we'll have to. We've got a breeding project going on that hasn't really taken off. We got some giant apple snails over there. We're trying to get to breed. Here's some zebra nearites. Nearites are really not something you're going to breed on accident or even on purpose. They're a brackish water breeder. But your mysteries, if you work at it, you can actually breed those guys. Um, here's another loach. I told you we had smaller chain loaches, and they are indeed a little bit smaller. Those are the dwarf chain loaches. Great snail patrol. Uh, who's in here? Oh, Daisy's Blue Rice Fish. Came in real tiny this time. Daisy's Blue Rice Fish have that really beautiful blue eye, a little red on the bottom. They're one of the more available rice fish so anymore. Every list I get has six or ten of them, different types. These are rams, but these are ones we haven't had for a while. Those are the German black rams. 
uh, one of the hardest rams to get, and we got ourselves a small group of those. Here's some frogs. These are albino dwarf frogs. Last week I thought I got albino, or two weeks ago, I thought I got albino dwarf frogs, but it turned out we got uh, large, regular frogs instead. This week we got some albinos, also some guppies. Told you we had them from a couple of suppliers. There's some, um, which kind are those? Those are red dragons, maybe. I got, got in one higher end. Nah, it'd be for somebody else. So we got a higher end guppy group coming in. Hopefully those come in pretty spectacular. Uh, and then, yep, three or four, I think three different bags of more working class fancy guppies coming out of this box right here. Uh, this is going to have it though. This is going to have the feeders. This is Peter Comets. Got to have them. And then we got a, some big goldfish. I promise you goldfish. And we got them. These are butterfly tails. Large butterfly tails. Um, wow. All right. Cool. And then a whole bunch of shrimp. Let's see. Here are Bloody Marys, and that looks like blue shrimp. No, that's not blues. Is that black King Kongs? Yeah, that's what that is. But most of them are really black, but there are some King Kongs in there. That's cool. And then we got green jades. I haven't had those in a minute. I uh, look like they're really light blue. We'll see what they look like in the tank. And there's blues. Blue velvets, I think they call them at this particular source. I always just call our blues blue because everybody's got a different uh, grade name for their blues. These are regular old cherry shrimp. They don't look incredibly high grade in the bag, but they usually look a lot better once they've warmed up and gotten in the tank. And then here are black crystals. I'll restock on those guys. Apparently those are available on a regular basis now rather than just once in a great while. I'm pretty high grade on them too. Here are red crystals. Another one we've been able to keep in stock for you most of the time. And the hip parade keeps coming. Well, those are jades there, aren't they? So those are jades. What were the other ones? Oh, I have to figure that out. I had some reallys. Should have had some red reallys, I thought. Maybe I ticked the wrong box. That's That there is a mono shrimp. Maybe the, oh, that's why they were so light colored. <laughs> they were small and mono shrimp that came in kind of green. <laughs> I screw that up sometimes. But that's the green jades right there. And then we got small monos, large monos. We got shrimp, we got shrimp, we got shrimp. So I think we got ghost shrimp coming in a different order. They filled out one of my other orders that had salt water too. One more box for these guys. Should have some more guppies in here. What else? I don't know. I think we got some more rams. Got some feeder guppies. Feeder guppies have been awful hard to get here alive, but we keep bringing them in. And we had to go up on our feeder price just a little bit. Uh, the price of feeders and the price of shipping both went up. So, so did we. Um, here are some electric blue rams. Got a nice batch of electric blue rams. We sold out most of those last batch we got, so I had restock. Speaking of guppies, here are some really cool looking guppies with a nice mosaic tail and another guppy so those are green i think one was a red snake skin the other was a green snake skin we always have a fun name for all those things right next up is what are oh these are the little um uh african butterfly cichlid so they're dwarf cichlid also they'll call those um can i remember those off the top of my head get their scientific name because my brain just went flat but uh those are the african butterfly thomas i that's their name here are some more guppies these are some black guppies Pay a little extra for those they'll still be in the uh, standard guppy price range here are some glowfish because you got to have them those are the glow uh daniels picked up the color we were missing and then some green and yes got gotta have them we were out uh, so we picked them up from that source. And last thing out of this bag is some more frogs. Those are the larger variety of African dwarf frog, not some fat. So fantastic. That's this part. We'll be back shortly. And we're back. Lightning fast. We got another little box came in while we were videoing the last box. Got a little bit of reptiles or herps anyway. First thing out of the box is a really cute little snake. He's like, look at me. 
This one they're calling a ghost pastel ball python. Oh my gosh, that's a beautiful pattern on that guy. I got another ball python. This one's a fairly low end guy, but really pretty pattern. They call him a juvenile fireball. Um, fairly normal, but uh, a little lighter colored, almost orangish color. So very beautiful. And like I said, very great price on him too. Uh, then we got some Pac-Man frogs. This is a green packy. Got to have them. And also an albino packy. That's not very albino. He's cute though. He's like lime green rather than the yellow like you get sometimes. So that's cool. <laughs> Rubber band popped. I'm like, ah, what was it? <laughs> uh, let's see. Bunch of crusties on this group. We got uh, some high-end crusties actually. These are Brindle Dalmatian crested geckos. So little spots on them, and uh, the brindle has got the kind of variegated uh, pattern. This one is a brindle also, but without the Dalmatian spots. They all came in the same price. A little bit more expensive than our babies that we got on special right now, but we got in some nice ones. That's a cappy or a cappuccino. Oh, nope, that one's not a spider at all. Or <laughs> that is a spider. That's not a crusty. Here's the other crusty. That's a tiger. Wow, I like that tiger. The last brindle we got looked actually more like that tiger, but. Anyway, cool, very cool, love crusties. Um, as I alluded to, we got some spiders in here. Uh, jumpers, let's see if I can see. There he is. It's a regal jumping spider. We got um, a couple different types. We got the black ones and we got some white ones. Let's see if I can spot a white one. Here it is. That's a white regal jumper right there. Haven't really got a chance to look through to see if we got a mixture of males or females, but we got a small group of regular and white regal jumping spiders. And that's it for our little harp list today. Be back with some more fish and saltwater and plants. So come back. And we're back. We got a whole nother stack of boxes. Let's get into them. Should have some freshwater fish, a whole bunch of freshwater fish, got some saltwater fish, got some coral. Uh, right off the bat, oh, this is none of those things. That's a little flat, fat floating frog or a spotted floating frog. Looks like I only got two of them. I ordered six, but those are so cute. You find them in uh, rice paddies in Asia. Uh, here's another one. It's not a fish, <laughs> salt or otherwise. This is a uh, panther. Yeah, it's a panther crab. I don't see the spots on him, so I guess so. Yeah, there they are. I was like, it's panther crab for you. Uh, okay, here's some more. Those are. Looks like you got a variety of different uh, vampire crabs. I thought I was getting the discos, but it looks like I got at least two different types. Maybe three. So cool. Vampire crabs. Don't get those that often. Looks like they shipped them pretty good too, which is not always a given with those. Uh, here's a fish, finally. This is a clown knife, a little guy. I uh, got him going. And uh, remember, he's going to be huge. Uh, next up is some puffers. These are really big Amazon puffers, about four times the size of the last couple shipments we got. I thought I had a different kind of fish altogether when I pulled them out of the bag. But those are Amazon puffers. Uh, next up are some green severums, itty bitty green severums. Remember, those guys will be afoot. So big cichlid when they get there. Uh, next is an eel. This is a white cheek moray eel that we call them a brackish fish, but really they're a lightly salted saltwater fish. We have them done in a bracket. I think we're doing like 19 for the specific gravity for them. And they're doing really well. Uh, here's some itty bitty pink kissing grommies. Remember those guys will be really quite large, uh, up to eight, 10 inches full size. Uh, another will be large fish. This is a baby Fajaca puffer. Oh, there he is. He's a, believe it or not, a little bit bigger than the last one we got that was really tiny, but that's a hatchling Fajaca. Another giant fish, lots of giant fish coming out of this box. This is a uh, giant grommy, the gold version, the Osphronomosis. Osphronomus? Hmm, my Latin's hurting again, but you know what we're talking about. Uh, here's some more bigger cichlids. These are chocolate cichlids, 8, 12 inches on those guys. Nice, big, beautiful cichlid, but not that ornery for a big cichlid. <laughs> Another giant fish. This is a red tailed cap. It's just a box full of the biggest of the biggest fish and little tiny crabs apparently. <laughs> um, oop, picked this cat, so looked like they didn't ship that well. We'll see if they'll clean up that. They've been kind of hard to find and uh, gauge them from the way those look, I can see why. 
Uh, and docker fish. These are the gararufa, the ones that suck the little goops off your feet if you stick them in the water with them. I haven't really tried that, but they're a cool little uh, member of the gara family, which you may be more familiar with the pandagara, which is, or they're called the pandagara log sucker, but they're in that same family. All right, there should be, I guess, salt water in this one. Let's see if I'm right. Ah! I go! <laughs> Here we go. First thing out of the box is a big bag. I like big bags. Oh, nice. This is an Antonata lionfish. Spinning the bag a little bit, but I think that's just because he's trying to figure out which way the light's coming from. Very cool fish. That's the Antonata lion. Uh, next is a giant uh, dragonette, the uh, little mandarin goby. About as big as I've ever seen one. Maybe it's seen them slightly bigger. Oh, a little bag of damsels. These are the yellow-tailed blue damsels. I don't think we've ever had those before, actually. I think I ordered them a time or two. Here's some snails. It looks like some Astria snails. Cleanup crew. And here's some more snails. Those are Nacero snails. Itty bitty guys. They're great for uh, uh, turning your sand bed. Here's a shrimp. Itty bitty guy. Are you all right? Or are you going to make the trip? Yeah, I don't think he made the trip. Eh, maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, he looks like he's pretty rough. That's coral banded shrimp, but he's not in good shape. All right. Uh, next is something in a privacy bag. Who'd we get? Oh, a whole bunch of uh, peppermint shrimp. Bought a nice bag of those guys because they have some uh, rock over there that's just covered in aptasia I'm trying to clean up. I'm pretty good at it. Uh, more well, little fishes, that's damsels, or not damsels, chromies. i got one, two, three in there. I should have another bag of three of those. Another bag of the yellowtails, too. Um, here's a cardinal. Got a little batch of those guys as well. And last out of this box, oh, you're cool. This is a blue spotted jawfish. That's those guys out of the Bahama, or not Bahama, um, Baja. Um, super cool guy. They actually come from fairly deep, like 80 feet deep. So they like uh, a little bit dimmer lit in conditions, but very cool fish. If you, for being sought after and a little hard to find, they're actually pretty hardy. Though they're notoriously great jumpers. You gotta make sure they keep a really nice tight lid on for those guys to keep them in the tank. Uh, and they got such a face on them. They're jawfish, so they always look like I'm just pissed at the world. <laughs> uh, black worms, much waited for and happy to have. And they threw in some crayfish with it. Looks like we only got four of the 12 I ordered. But at least we got some, so there we go. That's those inexpensive crayfish. They actually came in bigger, or supposedly bigger than they had been. They're a little more expensive, but they are here. Um, so I was kind of surprised my invoice from that particular supplier didn't have any zeros on it whatsoever. Oh, I had one. Just I think our sea slug didn't come from them. Uh, but everything else was as ordered. Then I get to look a little closer, and there's a lot that were under under uh, numbered. So I ordered six, got two sort of thing. All right, we got a bunch of coral here. Of course, it's not labeled, so I'm going to have to go through it when I can see it and see what I got. I know what I'm expecting. I'm expecting some torches some who are you that's cool uh some acan uh, acanthus i think that's that the meat corals i'm expecting let's see i said the hammers torches that's can't tell i think it's a torch and that's uh, so i think i got zoas coming i got some nice Look at that. It's a nice torch, I believe. We'll see when it opens up. I asked these guys to label the bags. They didn't even pretend to. <laughs> Very cool looking. i get them in the tank. I'll be able to tell it there. Um, got a whole bunch of Duncans on this, too. So that could be a Duncans there. Uh, what are you? Oh, that's a nice Duncan there. Very cool. All right. Um, what are you? 
I'm not 100% sure until I get them in the tank what I'm looking at on some of these guys. Oh, there's another Duncan bit. They told me they got these great big Duncan heads. They had like 60 to 100 heads on them. Here's a nice bit. There. You know, they may have just taken one. I thought I was getting one big one, but it looks like they may have taken a bit and broke it up for me. This is a Zoa colony. I'm not sure what color it is, but it's a nice big Zoa colony. And again, really hard to tell what these guys are in when the bag. We're just gonna have to get them in and see what we got. More Zoas. The plates for the Zoas ought to be nice. I think we paid about a little over 100 bucks for those guys. That's a big meat coral. Look at that guy. Super cool. Like a scully, but it's a uh, acanthus. That's another Zoa. Whoop, whoop. Ah! Zoa plate. I don't know if you can see that at all. All right. There it is. That's another meat. Look at you. How meaty you are. These guys are, say they're not that hard to keep, though they usually are a little bit on the spendy side. You just got to get them out of the flow and uh, not too close to the light, and they usually do pretty well. And feed them. Apparently, they'll eat great big things like big chunks of krill. They'll open up wide and go yum so very cool lots of coral all right let's get back into well let's finish off the salt water here it's not gonna be all the salt water but this is a salt water only vendor so let's see what else they have oh okay better talk fast apparently i've been talking so much today i killed my battery all right, that looks like another meat. No, that's an elegant. And that's been cut, too. Let's see when we get that open. We got a couple of elegants on there, too. If they cut the elegants through the, the mantle, they never very rarely recover. That's really cool. I forgot I had the elegants on there. That's cool. Because now I'm coming up with... Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Man, there's some cool stuff in here. And that one's pissed off, but, but cool. <laughs> All right. Yeah, it looks, there's gotta be elegance on some of those. Some of those are meats and some of those are elegance. I'll have to sort who's who. More torches, the stop torch. It looks like he's all right. I gotta get through these because there's a bunch of fish underneath him. So <laughs> I'll pull them out. I still can't tell exactly what I'm looking at on a bunch of these guys. But uh, it's going to be cool. <laughs> Whatever it is, come check them out. We'll get them labeled up. Some of them will be labeled. I don't know what it is, but it's cool. <laughs> uh, let's see. More of the green chromies. I told you I had them. There they are. Uh, then we have more coral. Actually bought more coral than fish on this order. Here's more snails. These are the bumblebee snails. Great on those little pokey snails that make their little tubes that steal food from your uh, fish. And then more coral and more torches. That's cleaner ass. Looks like he's all right. And there's another cardinal. There's another torch. We got six medium duty torches and like. Another couple expensive ones, and here's some more snails. It's like a random cleanup pack on snails. They oftentimes just include a cleanup pack with their orders here. I don't think he made the trip. Oh no, he's still trying. He's trying, we'll see if we can get him back. Um, who are you? That looks like a peppermint. Um, or not pepper, that's a uh, tiger pistol shrimp. And more snails. Maybe the Babylons? Oh, no, these are the big uh, substrate snails. And there's another cardinal in there. Oh, here's those Babylon snails. I'm going to call them a leopard snail. Got a little group of those guys. And, oh, here we go. Last of my 
blue-tailed damsels, and I'm pissed off a little puffer. Go on, let it down, dude. This is a Valenti puffer. You don't normally see him puff, so we'll get him back in the shadows so he can settle down. And that's it for that order. Shove all this back in here to some degree. Take all this coral and go drop it in the tank. Turn up the bash them up too bad. Got some cool stuff on this order. Getting it sorted out is going to be a challenge, but you know, it's just day in the life, guys. What do they do with all those posts, you know, fish life or whatever? I guess we're fish guy life. <laughs> all right, let's get in maybe some fish, salt and fresh, see what comes out. First thing out is some dragon, um, what do I call those, the dragon gobies. Started calling them an eel. Dragon gobies are actually a brackish fish and get a couple feet. Uh, this is saltwater fish, tiny little huma huma trigger. Don't think I've ever seen one that small. Um, guppies, completely different. These are those Dumbo Dragon guppies, mosaics, very nice. A little on the spendy side, but beautiful. Tiny little chocolate mimic. It was listed as a large. I was expecting something like this, so I guess we got a little one. Um, horseshoe crab, very cute. I like those, good for sifting the sand. Oh, we got a little coral here too. Get what I got from these guys. I think it was mostly zoas from these guys. We had some zoa frags. Yeah, there's another zoa frag. Got a couple different colors of those guys. Oh, Kleiner's butterfly. This is my favorite Aptasia eater. He'll go in with that, those peppermint shrimp to take care of some of that. Ain't much on that. Boy, did some of it break off. Yeah, sure did. I'll re-glue that maybe. Uh, and here's a serpent banded star tiny little guy. Very good for sifting your sand also. And let's see, this was a special order wrasse, um, Meliniatus or something like that. It's a cousin to the six-banded and the eight-banded wrasse, or eight-line. What are you? You're a, um, hmm, it's not an Aiken. I forget what it is. Um, some glow tetras. Some fantastic bright green. And another little zoa colony. Actually, maybe a pompon zinnia. Let's see. Those look like they kind of took the worst for wear there. Um, and then ghost shrimp. And that's the last for that little box. One more box to go. We'll rip through it for the battery dies. For my battery dies. Big intake video this week, folks. If you've been watching the whole thing, thanks for hanging in there. Not done yet. Not done by, well, a box. <laughs> Here we go. I'm dropping. Oh, I dropped my little fuzzy thing. Let's see. We'll put it back on. Does this thing work? All right, next up we have endlers. He said, oh yeah, they got a really cool pattern. Those are the tiger endlers. And then we have, is that a yabby? Yep, yabby blue lobster. Get those when I can. Those are a little bigger version of the electric blues, even though it's tiny now. Uh, one vendor I have that has these, this is the uh blood red or red dwarf grommies or flame dwarf grommies however you want to call it um well not as big as i was hoping these are geophagus wine milleri a lot cheaper than the last time i got them but uh not nearly as big either but at least we got them so those have been really hard to find here's a couple freshwater pipe fish i think i ordered two they sent three looks like I'll have to look at them in the tank because they didn't say which genus they are or which species. I guess we know which genus. Also got this guy. Eh, he's a little bit smaller than I'd hoped too. Some of their giant fish weren't quite as giant as I was hoping. We've gotten some of these guys that were literally twice that size. That's a big hump flower horn. Here's another big fish. This is a fire eel and he really did come in nice sized. Fantastic, beautiful fish. Gorgeous, gorgeous fish. And then uh, yellow rabbit snails. Looks like they came in in good shape. Hope. Hope so. Yellow rabbit snails. Haven't had those in a little while, so 
have been at least close to out anyway. And the last thing on this order, we got some mollies. These are your old um, Dalmatian mollies. Yeah, these are the liar tail version. So there you go. That's this week's fish order, guys. Oh, and reptiles and plants and every other doggone thing. <laughs>